Hello dear students, how are you? I do believe that you all are very fine by the grace of our Almighty God. Today, I am really very happy to help you in teaching English. I hope you will enjoy by watching this class. So, dear students, are you all ready with your book, pen and notebook? So get ready. So today we will um, study very one important um, lesson here from this book. If you have this book, you can turn with me and you can follow. Today we will uh, learn about lesson 21. Please open with me. And today we will learn and know and learn about about this person. So can you please tell me who could be this person? Probably many of you know, many of you do not know his name but haven't uh, any time have seen or heard. So today we are going to learn about this man especially. So let's see topic. His name is Hassan Raja. His name is Hassan Raja. The mystic bird of Bangladesh. So, uh, what will be our learning outcome if we read this passage? Then we will understand the text through reading, meaning, difficult, question answer, and describe, we will be able to describe the life story of Hassan Raja. Understand what to do for homework also. So, this is very important. So, I will show you some picture here. Can you know this man and this man? I hope you will know this. Huh? So, his name is Lalun Shah and Shah Abdul Karim. So, these three men are the mystic birds of Bangladesh. So now we are going to read the passage very nicely and very carefully. You have to understand how to read the passage. So, that is very important here. We need to uh, remember three special elements well reading. Pronunciation, pause and intonation. These three words are very important dear students. So, please try to follow me and try to match with your book. So now I am going to read. Hassan Raja was born in 1854 in a wealthy landlord's family in Silet. He did not receive much formal education. In his youth, he led a life of luxury. He had everything, money, comfort and pleasure. So here we can see that Hassan Raja had everything, money, Comfort and pleasure. This is very important. But at one time, he understood that all these are meaningless. He gave away all of his properties. He started to think deeply about the Creator, about life, death, and mankind. Hassan Raja wrote a lot of songs. Perhaps about thousand in number. So please try to understand. So he has written uh, many songs, nearly thousand. His book called Hasan Udash was published in 1906. So we need to remember when his book Hasan Udash was published. We need to remember 1906. The book had 206 songs in it. So try to understand this. I hope you will understand everything. In his songs, Hassan called himself Crazy Hassan Raja or the Pagla Hassan Raja. So it's very important. In his songs, he called himself Crazy Hassan Raja or Pagla Hassan Raja. This is very important here. A volume called 
Hasan Raja Shamogra, Complete Works of Hasan Raja, was also published. The book contained 500 poems and songs. Some of the songs were written by the poet in Hindi. Hasan Raja's songs were always popular in Silet. But very soon they spread all over Bangladesh and beyond. In India's West Bengal, some eminent folk singers make Hassan songs popular. So, um, here we can see some of the very important. He was very popular in Silet. His songs were very popular in Silet. And his songs were spread all over the world. Hmm? You can see here. Then, when you grow older, dear students, you will learn more about this great mystic poet through reading and listening to his song. So this is the story, very interesting and very lessonable story of Hassan Raja, you know. He had everything and he was the son of a wealthy landlord. Can you please Remember any of the famous person of this world who realized the way Hassan Raja realized? Yes, I will tell you one story, you know. The story, name of the story is Three Final Wishes of a great Greek king. As a military commander, he was undefeated. He was undefeated and the most successful throughout history. On his way home from conquering many countries, he came down with an illness. At that moment, his captured territories, all the army, sharp swords, and wealth all had no meaning to him. Dear students, the person about whom I am talking here, this man was also a famous warrior, a famous person, and he conquered half of the world nearly during his lifetime. But when he became sick, he could realize that everything in his life is meaningless, useless. So, he expressed his three wishes to his commander. One is given here, two is given here, but I want to tell you the final wishes. This is a very important lesson for you, dear students. And that is, what he said, my final wish is to put my hand outside the coffin. What is the meaning? of his final wish. Do you know this, dear students? I will tell you. His final wish meaning is here. I will read for you. The third wish to make people understand that I came to this world in empty hand and I will leave this world also in empty hands. Can you tell me who could be this man? Dear students, can you tell me? Yes. He is the Alexander the Great, the famous, the most powerful person ever had in our world was this man. But to him, everything was useless. So as we study the passage of Hassan Raja, really meaningful. And we need to understand from our heart why he is called the mystic bird. Because he started to think for the truth. He started to think for the mankind, for the creator. He started to think. So, uh, same way I need to uh, give you some activities here. Some of the difficult words you will find here. So I will tell you to write down all the difficult word meanings so that you can learn and you can memorize this word meaning. 
very very important word meaning you know published pronunciation these words meaning are very important please try very uh, carefully and write down all the meaning and you also find more meaning so try to remember all the meaning try to memorize all the meaning before reading again so now i will uh, help you in question answer activities please try to uh, understand what is the meaning and how you need to answer first question when hasan raja was born you need to think amader kintu obosshoi bujhte hobe je kon tense dewa hoyeche sei tense e kintu amader ke uttor likhte hobe sudharan amra dekhi he was born in 1854 এখানে যে টেন্সে লেখা হয়েছে আমরা কিন্তু উত্তরটা ঠিক সেই একই টেন্সে আমরা দিয়েছি সুতরাং এখানে টেন্স যদি তুমি চেঞ্জ করো তাহলে কিন্তু তোমার উত্তর কাটা হবে বা নাম্বার তুমি কিন্তু কম পাবে দ্বিতীয় কোয়েশ্চেন হোয়ার ডিড হি কাম ফ্রম অ্যানসার উইল বি হি কেম ফ্রম এ ওয়েলদি ল্যান্ডলর্ডস ফ্যামিলি ইন সিলেক্ট আমরা যদি এখানে দেখি সে কোথা থেকে এসেছিল আমরা এই প্রশ্নটা কিন্তু পাস্টে করা হয়েছে এর জন্য উত্তরটাও কিন্তু আমরা পাস্টে দিয়েছি সুতরাং দিস ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইয়ার স্টুডেন্টস তুমি তোমরা অনেকেই লেখো হি কামস এগুলো কিন্তু কাটা হবে হয় কিন্তু সুতরাং গ্রামেটিক্যালি মিস্টেক সুতরাং তোমাদের কিন্তু অবশ্যই এই জিনিসটা বুঝতে হবে আমাদের অ্যাজ এ কি হি কেম ফ্রম এ ওয়েলদি ল্যান্ডলর্ডস ফ্যামিলি ইন সিলেক্ট থার্ড হোয়াট ওয়াজ হিজ চাইল্ডহুড লাইক লেটস সি হিজ চাইল্ডহুড ওয়াজ লাক্সুরিয়াস ভেরি সিম্পল আছে Are you all happy? Are you understanding? I can believe you all are standing. Why did Hassan Raja live the life of comfort and pleasure? Very important and very meaningful question. You need to understand this here. Because he could realize that everything is meaningless. He then started to think about creator, life, mankind and death. This is a very wonderful uh, question. Very meaningful question. You need to Uh, give full attention here and what was the other name by which hasan raja was known as we studied what was the other name of hasan raja his other name was crazy hasan raja and or the pagla hasan raja so these are the question answer uh, for your better understanding please keep writing keep memorizing all the question answer following your passage I hope you will find all the question answer in the passage if you want to learn very carefully you will get all the answer so uh, next thing i will to focus some of the very key words of this passage bird bird is called bird they are the mystic birds of bangladesh here what is the meaning who writes poem and songs so what do you understand by a bird a bird is who writes poem and song they are called the bird so another uh, meaning mystic what is the meaning mystic mystics meaning who writes who tries to search the truth and become united with god through prayer and meditation so what is the meaning mystic meaning here then volume what do you understand by volume a large book a large book so i hope uh, you were better understanding this huh dear students so crazy crazy what do you understand by crazy crazy excited about something a mad so these are the key words of this passage you try to write down huh now let's do some uh, exercise here Uh, let's try to match this uh, matching try to feel uh, uh, enjoyment happy which word could be here match with here large book which one uh, so you try to follow i hope you will understand this so first one pleasure uh, second one volume a large book third crazy excited about something and four comfort the state of having a pleasant life and the last one the luxury 
the enjoyment of expensive things. So, I hope you have understood this. So, this is the life story of uh, where you were born. It has been shown to you. So, um, so now, and his previous lifestyle for your better understanding. He had everything as I said. Luxurious life he had. He laid. But at one time he could realize this is all are meaningless. So um, I hope you all are better understanding this. So his book. So do you know the name of this book? Has, the Hassan Udash and the Hassan and Hassan Raja Shamagra. These two books. So um, perhaps uh, by uh, this um, presentation you have better understanding of this passage, right? So dear students, uh, now for you, for your homework. Are you ready with the homework? This is a very easy homework. Uh, here I have said you please listen this song and write what you have understood in five sentences. And these are the homework. Please try to um, read lesson 22 to 27. All these lessons are very important for the second term of, of your final exam. So at home, please do not miss anyone. Read very carefully the way I have read here. So write all the difficult word meaning. Question answer, true false, fill in the gaps in your notebook. And also another thing, write and memorize the short paragraphs about your reading room. Take help from your book. And for this homework, you will get 30 marks. So dear students, did you understand what I have given here for your homework? So, you know, uh, I like this song very much. And Hassan's um, is one of the very famous songs. Dear students, I want to sing a couple of lines of this song for you. Though my tone won't be sweet, but I hope you will enjoy and request you to listen it. So are you ready to listen from me? From my tone? Are you ready? Okay. Look a bole, bole re, ghar bari bhala nayama, ki ghar Try to listen this song. Very wonderful song. And end of my lesson, I request you all stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. May God bless you all. Thank you everyone.